It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back, everybody. You're still opening up with S3 on your feel good breakfast show. Happy Earth Day to all of you. Now, we have an interesting story right now. A new mural is in the works in the community of Fishhook to raise awareness and also warn community members and visitors about the very real climate change that is taking place right now. The artwork is led by Cape Town born artist based in Musenberg, Claire Homewood of Care Creative. And she is here this morning to tell us more about this amazing initiative. So very good morning to you, Claire. Good morning. How are you doing? <laughs> Pretty good. It's so good to have you. I'm sorry, I'm always excited <laughs> when I get to talk about such cool things. And this is really cool. I mean, we're talking about climate change. We're talking about an incredible mural. That's not just a mural, but it's there's a hope that this actually does something more. What, what is that agenda for you? And what was the, the idea behind this? Yeah, putting a painting into public space is always an interesting thing. So it's about creating conversation and about people being able to interact with ideas that they might not be thinking about or come across in every day. Um, so this painting is about sea levels rising and the idea that if a baby was born in this year or if a child was about one years old now, sea levels are where they are. Um, by the time they're 30, where are projected sea levels going to be? And by the time they're 80 years old, where are sea levels going to be? So the characters on our painting are actually showing this progression and where we're kind of, where we're looking at um, in terms of projected sea levels. Which, yeah. And you can see it's more than just a painting, it's more of a warning sign about what is happening right now. This is, this is amazing that you're creating awareness around this, but what are you hoping to achieve with the story and with this mural? We're hoping to achieve conversation. Um, I mean, who knows what's going to happen with climate change, it's kind of an unknown thing, but are we thinking about it? Are we talking about it? Are we making plans? How resilient do we think we're going to be if a storm, you know, suddenly takes out, you know, all the low-lying areas of Cape Town? Are we ready for that? What's the plan with the coastline? So it's who knows, but more it's about conversation mm. and thinking about how we are living on this planet. You know, how are we interacting with the natural environment? It's not all about humans. It's really thinking about the bigger picture. The bigger picture. And I think also the conversation goes beyond like just adults and it goes towards everybody. And especially when you're talking about the future. And I mean, the question to, for you is what was the reason then for, I'm, I'm assuming there's a reason why you intentionally included children. Yeah. You've got some school kids, I think from Komeki, you've got some people from Fishhook as well, getting yeah. involved in the mural as well. More than just helping hands. I'm sure there was a reason behind that, yeah. right? No, we've been working together as a team. Been been painting over a couple of weeks so it's been about a process as well and getting to know each other and building into the painting a collective vision so it's not just about me being an artist putting my idea on a wall it's about creating something that's from the group and it was very important with this theme that we also give it give the youth the platform. This is about thinking into the future. What does it look like in 140 years time? Are we thinking, are we decision making now with 140 years in the future in mind? Or are we just thinking, okay, quickest profit, let's go, you know, because that's not going to get us very far. I, I, I love what you're saying then. I just got a comment on that because it seems like that was the pattern that got us here in the first place. Mm -hmm. If I go back to the 70s and when we were in that revolution of just creating and making profit, we weren't thinking about well, the, the 80s. future. Yeah, well, the 80s <laughs> as well. So, I mean, if you look at it now, I think it's so great that you, not forcing, but encouraging this conversation from such a young age already so that yeah. we know from the time that we want to impact this earth in our teens and our early 20s that we're thinking about the environment when we do so and I don't think that was always the case for people at my age yeah. growing up as well so and thank youth, you for that. You have to realize that they're like we're all citizens and we have to take that step into being active citizens and giving a voice to the youth is super important it's yeah. it's vital. Oh absolutely I also believe there's going to be a QR code on the mural tell us a bit more about that and what benefits that's going to have. So it's a painting so it's a visual you know experience people will be able to walk up to the painting look at it be like what is going on here and then kind of figure out okay there's a graph we've got numbers we've got looking at sea levels but then there's also going to be information a web link and a QR code so people can scan it with their phone the city is hosting the web link the web page and on there is going to be a whole lot of information about climate change about environmental um, actions that we can take in our homes 
systems in our lives, what we can do about you know, working towards a more sustainable and resilient um, existence, and also links to all the organizations that have been part of the project, like WESA and uh, 350.org Africa. Um, so you'll be able to explore kind of the partners of the project and find out a lot more information. Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, I can't thank you enough, Claire. Homewood obviously joining us this morning, sharing this incredible mural and the message behind it, of course. And you can find out more about the story. It's Care oh, Creative, sorry. And you can see all the incredible stories and the murals behind this. And uh, get down to Fishuk if you can and get involved with this because I think it's such a beautiful piece, a beautiful talking point and a beautiful piece of action that we need to take into the future. So thank you for that, Claire. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, team. It's just 